Prime News presents Urban Icons. What's up, everybody? I wanted to get a quick shout out to uh, Cleveland over at CPSS for uh, handling my uh, special project. It was totally custom from concept to finish, and uh, he took care of all the wiring and electrical for me, which saved me a lot of time on the custom stuff I had to get done. So, a uh, big shout out to them. There'll be a link at the end of the video for their page on Facebook, as well as contact information for Cleveland. So, uh, make sure you check it out, and here goes the video. To start the modification, went ahead and added LED light strip across the top, temporarily installed of course, uh, because uh, that will be part two of this project. But uh, we got the frame installed with the uh, Pelican uh, actual manufacturer's frame with a very special commercial grade adhesive that is normally not available for residential use, it's business only, but uh required to bond this to the case and not use rivets in order to maintain case integrity but it's made to fit the exact dimensions of this case and pre-drill with threaded holes so that helps and it also comes with rubber insulation that goes all the way around the perimeter of the entire case and allows when you do put the panel back in to be an airtight fit uh, added a divider, aluminum rail here, with a plexiglass divider to separate this side from this side. This side will have the airflow for the equipment. This side will be storage area, so storage space for any cables, uh, power boards, any other adapters I may need. Uh, I put the divider here, also with aluminum rails with uh, padding down in there, to force airflow onto this side on the intake fan into and through the power supplies as well as over into this side here with more open space about a 60-40 split with the exhaust side to collect any of the heat and stuff and exhaust it out and uh, CPSS hooked me up with the wiring and the power supplies everything wired up for my uh, 24 volt connections for two Hyperion 1420i chargers as well as dual outputs for 12 volt one for each power supply to help power all the other uh, supporting functions and I added this one that will go to um, the power switch for the lights to run 12 volts directly also with the uh, illuminated LED switch so um, about to clean this out a little bit from the installation work and be back in just a second with the deck installed got the progressive RC 40 amp uh, power distribution block I have it wired to 12 volts though instead of 24 volt for future use uh, two Hyperion 1420i chargers wired in I've got the PowerCon tactical power connector connections with a special made cable that's made to adapt to this for power input 120 volt as well as future expansion a pass through 120 volt output and they're both sealed with a rubber seal all the way around and dust covers to protect from moisture and dust um, also we've got on here uh, intake fan wired underneath uh, glows blue as is the uh, CPSS trademark with the illuminated fans and one exhaust fan so intake and outtake and with the dividers inside, as you can see, part of one there separates this area here from the rest of the case for storage. And the airflow will come in this fan, across the power supplies, and back out. And vent it back here. 
with holes for running the uh, cables up to part two of the project which will be done at another time so now to add the rest of the case get it wired up and let you see how it runs and of course how can we forget the Horn Dog TV HD TV logo from YouTube with the badge for CPSS custom edition case uh, all the engraving laser engraving and cutting was done by datapro.net uh, they make custom panels uh, any shape any size you send them your dimensions your hardware your specs your material thickness your placement with a diagram and they can cut it for you so once I ordered all my components individually marked out where everything was going to go did dimensions for the measurements for this case plotted it out sent measurements for the cuts how thick the aluminum was it had the aluminum sent off to be anodized and uh, engraved and uh, they hooked it up for me as well as barcodes, QR codes, which you'll see in just a moment. Okay, back again, and I've got the other half of the panel temporarily installed, as you can see. All uh, anodized and cut to fit. This side sports four USB charging ports for phones or any other USB accessories that require power. Also, a QR panel, one for the YouTube page you can read with a smartphone and one for CPSS contact information for their charges, uh, power supplies. Um, both of these were laser engraved and cut to fit. This is a recessed panel for both. Screwed into place and fits perfectly. As well as the Vandal resistant uh, power switch, which is recessed so it didn't have any uh, switches to be broken off or snapped by something sliding over it. It's all recessed and the button itself is recessed and uh, when this is active it's wired to the lights here and when it's active this glows green so that even in daytime when you can tell it is active and power is being applied and uh, now it's time to wire all this stuff up and give you a shot of what it looks like ready to go Okay, got everything put back together. Screw it in. This is the power con power connector I opted to go with. Uh, it's secure. It has a locking latch so that it can't yank out by mistake. It's a twist lock connector. And get the panel all in. Everything set up. You power it up here. And let's go for it. Alright, fans are running, intake and exhaust with the dividers already installed, and we've got the 12 volt power output for any other options I may add, and let's double check here, yep, input 24 volts, 24 volts, so good to go there, and the light switch for the LED lights as follows nice and bright and like I said this is a special power connector special order uh, they can run up to 24 volts DC just to power the ring so that you know it's active and recess so it doesn't get broke off pretty cool and check the USB make sure that's all good and grab my phone here See what we got. This is my backup phone since my primary is in repair. But either way, let's see here. Yep, charging. Good to go. So everything works. And this is the completed CPSS HDTV Custom Edition. 24 volt, 1800 watt, portable power supply. And phase one is complete. And this part of the case will be phase two. Will be specially modified for FPV, dual feed video with recording option and uh, video goggles. And probably, I'm debating here, a 15 to 17 inch monitor, LED monitor here. 
pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next project. Uh -huh.